feel relaxed, calm, and clear-minded when we hear the water. See the water, get close to it, or touch it. Why so? Is it because life comes from water? Is it because water and life are closely related? Or is it because we simply cannot live without it? All of the above may be true. Our close relation with water is innate. When life is being formed, water is the first exterior existence that is felt by it. This is probably why water can give us a sense of peace, as if we were back to the original point of life. But is this influence and interlink with water only unilateral? After extensive research and experiment on the message of water, we are going to show you the secret of the cosmos revealed by water. World peace is starting from our mind. Water knows. Water makes up over 70% of the human body. It also takes up 70% of Earth's surface in the form of rivers and oceans. Water is an important element in sustaining life. The hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule, which are the building blocks of water, have been deemed to be some kind of liquid mineral. In 1988, the French immunologist Jacques Benaviste published his research report about the memory of water. He found that when drugs are diluted down to a density close to pure water, they still maintain the same curative effect. This argument about the memory of water was not widely recognized at the time. As such, Jacques Benaviste even lost his research funding. In 2009, the joint recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, French virologist Professor Luc-Antoine Montagnier, supported Benaviste's argument in his research report. He showed that the water molecule in the liquid that contains HIV DNA can emit a particular type of electromagnetic signal, which can be duplicated in liquid that does not contain HIV DNA. This has proven that water has memory. Does water have memory? It sounds very peculiar. In fact, not just water, the entire universe is one organic life entity. The German quantum physicist, Dr. Max Planck, documented in his research on atoms, I can tell you as a result of my research about atoms this much, there is no matter as such. The mind is the matrix of all matter. He claims that the universe is like an invisible electromagnetic web where everything on this web, including water, can receive the energy vibration of human thoughts. The water experiment is based on such scientific theory to prove that water is not only able to receive human thoughts, but is also able to change accordingly. Woman 
啊，过去人是这前人教给我们的，说是神明啊。我们相信他指的神明是什么？就是我们身体以外的所有物质现象，都能看到我们起心动念、言语造作。啊，在佛法里面讲，阿赖也是，阿赖也是起的作用。啊，阿赖也叫妄心，自信叫真心，真心没有念头，真心没有善恶，真心是一切法的源头。啊，一切法。都是真心变现出来的，所以它是一体，它能互通，没有障碍。啊，像现在互联网一样，比互联网还高明，还神秘。啊，这说明不能做亏心事，不要以为人家不知道。啊，佛菩萨知道，鬼神知道。啊，这个好像在下午，不止，连你看看，连水都知道，空气当中有水分，怎么会不知道呢？我们的生活离不开水，每一个细胞离开水，它就会死亡了。啊，人的身体百分之七十是水分。所以，用水试验是很有道理的。This is the Huayan Laboratory. It was established under the guidance of the Venerable Master Jing Kong in 2010. This lab has performed more than 300,000 water experiments since its inception. The water used in the experiments by the Huayan Laboratory is the distilled water for medical use. We place the water sample in the environment room where water is exposed to the object under experiment. In order to protect the experiment from being affected by any external disturbance, the environment room is designed as a confined room with soundproofing. Each bottle of sample water is exposed to the object under experiment for 24 to 72 hours. Experiment is completed. The staff takes 0.5 milliliters of the sample water with a pipette and puts it in a petri dish. Each subject of experiment requires water sample of 1,000 petri dishes for observation. The petri dishes are placed in a freezer with a temperature set at negative 25 degrees centigrade for four to eight hours to allow the water to be frozen. The frozen petri dishes are taken out of the freezer and placed in the fridge. The petri dish containing the frozen water is being observed with a high magnification microscope, which is connected to a computer, and hence the structure of the water crystals under observation can be shown on the computer screen. When the observation is completed, the images recorded by the computer are uploaded to the research office for closer examination, analysis, and record keeping. With countless experiments, we found that water can see, hear, smell, taste, sense, and feel. Water can receive and reflect the messages of human thoughts and the universe through the shapes and contents of the water crystals.
When people express the words with positive meaning, water will reflect beautiful crystals corresponding to the positive words. Water's ability to distinguish and respond to messages is not bound by language. For example, the word love is the innate affection of human beings. No matter what language that people use to express love, water knows. Любовь. Die Liebe. Amor. Sarah. Liebe. Prem. Love. Любовь. Хоп. Эш. The selfless love shows the most beautiful water crystals. As the water smells the flowers, the water crystals show the pattern of blossoming flowers. When we change the experimented object to fruits and vegetables, the pattern of the water crystals changes accordingly. Water is not only able to show its reaction to the odor of a cigarette, but it is also able to show the pattern of a burning cigarette through its water crystals. As we let water see a film in the experiment, it further demonstrates that water has the ability to see, to hear, to sense, and to be aware of the messages like the innate nature of human beings. This film is about Dr. Jane Goodall's great efforts of animal conservation, which allow chimpanzees to return to their habitat. Water clearly made us see the power of the mind when it is filled with strong and unwavering love. Dr. Wangari Mahatai, who was the first African female recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004, promoted the Green Belt Movement in Africa for more than 30 years in an effort to stop desertification. So far, 30 million trees have been planted as a result of such campaign. Water crystals truly reflected these thoughts of loving trees and conserving trees in order to salvage the ecological environment of Earth. Because I love him, I'm here today. I do it for Jesus, for the greater glory of God, and the good of people. Joy. Mother Teresa built homes for the people dying of HIV AIDS in India. She was not only awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, but was also canonized by Pope Francis of the Vatican in 2016. Buddhists often talk about compassion. This means the mercy of not being able to bear the thought of seeing other people or animals suffering. Such sincere love, no matter how subtle it is, reveals the thought of goodness and benevolence, and water knows. Although the beautiful water crystals reflected the bright side of humanity,
the natural disasters almost go as far back as the history of Earth. Does water know it as the Earth is crying and all beings are suffering? When the Earth gets sick and the human minds are polluted, water crystals have indeed received and reflected the turmoil of the world and the harm that people have done to the Earth. This has proven that human minds can affect the surrounding environment. This is in line with what is said in the Avatamsuka Sutra, all phenomena come from the mind. In order to bring back the serene environment and live in a world without any natural disasters, we need to start the change from our mind. We must find a way to restore the purity of our mind and bring us back to the origin of love. How powerful is love? Dr. Hugh Lin, a clinical psychologist at the Hawaii State Hospital, applied the traditional treatment of the Hawaii Aborigines, Hall Oponopono, by continuously sending the message of love to the patients. He said, I love you, to show loving kindness to all beings, thank you, to show gratitude to all beings, and I am sorry and please forgive me, to show repentance to all beings. He used these four verses to clear up all the past memories of illness and bring the mind and the body back to a state of purity. Hence, many patients fully recovered from their illness. Venerable Master Jean Kong views that the methodology used by Dr. Hugh Lin is similar to the meditative concentration and the practice of letting go in Buddhism. As long as people are able to let go of their persistent attachment and scattering thoughts, their mind and body will get mended and recovered by themselves. This is the so-called phenomena changes according to the change of the mind. We performed the water experiments on Dr. Hugh Lin's four verses and discovered that a statement of, I am sorry, can bring the broken pieces of a water crystal back together to form one complete water crystal. The results of such an experiment indicated that the human mind is indeed able to influence water, influence our body cells, and treat our illness. This manifests the power of love as well as the power of our mind. The Huayin Laboratory has emulated the methodology of Dr. Hu Lin to perform water experiment on using the power of the mind to treat patients since 2016. Such experiment is intended to increase the patient's confidence in the power of the mind and to help treat the illness through providing patients with observations of changes in water crystals. During the slow and painful process of recovery, Xiaoling has recovered from a deep coma and paralysis and regained memory, mobility, and the ability to speak. Her mother has never given up.
With her mother's encouragement, Xiaoling participated in the experiment of reciting Dr. Hulin's four verses, as well as the experiment of reciting the Buddha's name, Amituo Fo. The changes of the water crystal strengthened Xiaoling's confidence in reciting the Buddha's name, Amituo Fo. If chanting the Buddha's name does not stop, the power of the mind does not stop. This is only one of the case studies to show the power of religion to change the state of the mind of the patients and help them regain confidence and goodness of their thoughts. In fact, all religions have such power. We are still continuing our water experiments on using the power of the mind to treat illness. We hope to obtain better results to share with you in the future. A-mi-tho-pho a mi tho pho a the water crystals have proven that reciting Buddha's name has the power of cultivating our mind to renounce evil and recover goodness. Such benevolence based on love is the core value and the shared root of all the religions. The righteous belief in religion helps people cultivate their goodness and enhance their spirituality. It also generates positive energy to make the water crystals show beautiful patterns. Where is the power of the religion? The power of the religion is in its respective scriptures.
Venerable Master Jean Kong once said, All the religions of the world are one family. All the religions of the world are one entity. The water experiment has made us learn that all matters are a reflection of our mind and the universe is one life entity. We need to give up on competition in order to bring our mind back to the state of purity, equality, and goodness. We need to change the state of our mind in order for us to resolve the conflicts of the world and bring the world back to peace and harmony.